Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to synchronize changes between Azure storage accounts. For example, remember in the last video, in the previous video, we moved or copied data from one storage account to another, though, we, though I only showed you the blob copy. But let's say uh, I made few changes and I want to make sure that I keep the synchronization intact between my source and the destination storage account like my source storage account is the production storage account that I use in my for my production activities and the second storage account that I created is the backup is a kind of backup storage account let's say uh, there are some changes made there is a file a, a blob a new blob has been in add it to my existing container or I created a new container but that has to be replicated or that has to be in sync with my copied storage uh, the copied storage account should also have the latest changes that has been made onto my production storage account in that case I have to use easy copy sync command to keep those changes intact between my production and my copied storage account so the sync would only uh, update the changes that has been done on the production storage account it will not it would not copy everything again to my destination storage account it will only add the changes let's see if it works or not okay okay so this is where we left the uh, so i had this test sr1 i had this container And this is the container that I okay. Let me add one more container in here. Container two. Okay. I'm gonna create container two and let me add some some more uh, files in my container one. In that case, it would be different for what it had early. No upload it. Okay, I'm going to upload it. Let's say I upload this test folder in here. A very small, a very small size folder in here. Okay. This is okay. So now this is storage account this is my test one so if you would see here this is my test one storage account I go in here this is my container this is my container one and in here I have this thing added so now if I go here, this is my test2 storage account and test2 and in here I only have container1. I do not have container2 and in container1 I only have this as a file. So now I'll go here, I will use Other than az copy copy I will use az sync and everything remains same because the az sync also works in one direction either it it can be from source can be your container one storage account and destination would be your uh, storage two storage account and you can do it in other way as well you can have your source as your destination uh, your container two storage account and your destination as container one so it can work in both ways but for for command you will have to specify the source as your storage one uh, storage account one as your storage account so in here what i'm doing is i'm running easy copy sync and this is the sas url for my sas url blob sas blob url for my storage one account so this is https test sr one dot blob dot co dot windows dot net and this is the SAS with it and this is my destination test sl2 storage account blob.unders.net and 
and this is recursive okay let's hit it and see if this works or not are not supported in sync okay it says error passing the input given by the user field with error service level urls error service level urls i mentioned then here for the complete storage count let me fix this okay so as per the documentation i cannot sync the whole uh, the complete storage account in one go i have to mention the container name as well so it says az copy sync it is the uh, blob url and then i have the container one that i want to sync the changes from container one in my source storage account to the container one in my destination storage account let's see how this goes okay okay so i added the sas url in here so this is the source and then i added the sas url for storage account one this is my destination in here then i added the sas url for destination two and it says uh, job this started log file is located and this 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 zero file scanned at source zero file scanned at destination cannot form sync due to error cannot list blobs filled with error this 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 dot new storage error home go storage blob response error is this specified resource name contains invalid characters mm -mm -mm -mm. should i rename my storage account container or the file or should i check let's let's check first don't think it will be done okay this container one looks good to me download it copy completion point looks good to me let me troubleshoot i found the solution here so what i what the change that i did was in the easy copy in the easy copy sync command uh, i mentioned this https and the blob url after that i was giving a space in here after the container name i was giving a space then the sas url so after adding the container name here put a slash here and then without any spaces mention the sas url here and same in the destination so it says this job has started it pasted a log file here 100% done zero fail one pending one total job is this file scanned at source 2 file scanned at destination 1 number of copy transfer for files 1 number of copy transfers completed is 1 so now if i go again here so this is container 1 i uploaded this header.png now if i go here under the storage account 2 and go for container and refresh it i go in container 1 I see two files here. So you see here that I did not copy it, I just synced it. And uh, that is how you only sync the changes between your uh, two containers in different storage accounts. So now you know the difference between copying using the AZ copy copy and AZ copy sync command in here i hope this was uh, useful to you and uh, we did a troubleshooting as well minor changes small changes will let this lead to the fruitful results so i hope you liked it if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i see you guys in the next video thank you